We'll read the story about this little girl in this book. This little girl, her name is Jemina, and there she is walking with her grandpa. And they are in the early morning, they're going to look for honey. And there's a clever little bird called the honey bird who shows them where the honey is. And they follow the honey bird. I want to see elephants, Jemina cried. Grandpa, do you think we'll see elephants? You'll be lucky, said the old man. We don't see many now, since the hunters came. Hunters! Jemina's eyes lit up. I'm going to be a hunter when I grow up. And there she is running in the felt. And there's a beautiful weaver bird making his nest. Looks like a little basket. Jemina pretended she was a hunter. She shot the mighty elephant and she tracked the rhino deep into the forest. She stalked a pride of lions. Then she turned back to look for her grandpa. But she had gone too far into the bush and the old man and the honey bird were nowhere to be seen. She called out but there was silence. Then far away on the wind Jemina heard a sound, a sad and desperate cry that hugged her, tugged at her heart. She held her breath and listened. It was like a crying noise, a very sad noise. You will see a leopard sitting on the branch. And look at that beautiful butterfly. Leopards like to sit in trees, especially when they've had a big meal of buck. Jemina looked up. Vultures were high in the heavy sky and all around she could sense danger. It's a good thing that this elephant's, this leopard's tummy is full because he would jump on Jemina and eat her if his tummy wasn't full. But he was full and he was too lazy to try and hunt her. Never go alone into the bush, her mommy and daddy had said. But the sound was so sad she couldn't help but follow. Further and further she went. And what did she see? A poor little baby elephant trying to wake his mummy up. But what's the matter with his mummy? She's dead. She's been killed by hunters. And he's saying, wake up mummy, wake up. Now Jemina felt sorry for the baby. She knew that he couldn't live without his mommy. She would try to lead him home and perhaps they could find his family on the way because elephants live in big families. They have lots of aunties and grannies and cousins and this little baby needed his family. But the baby was so frightened he was scared of her. I'm not a hunter, she said softly. For a long time she stroked his head and talked to him softly and finally he calmed down and he nuzzled her with his trunk. Mina stood up and walked a few steps. The baby followed. He couldn't walk well because it was so hot. Then the rain came and cooled them down and the elephant found the strength to go on. He's also very thin because he couldn't drink any milk from his mommy. At times they slipped in the mud and they struggled, but they kept on walking right through the storm. And look at this beautiful dragonfly with raindrops on his wings that look like diamonds and pearls. Isn't he beautiful? This lovely green chameleon sitting on these plants and that's a big ant hill and inside live lots and lots of ants and there's a beautiful orange plant called an aloe. As the skies cleared the baby got excited and Jemina thought she could hear the elephants but when she stopped to listen there was only the whispering of the wind in the grass. For a long time the elephant wouldn't walk then sadly and silently he carried on. If you are lost, her grandpa told her, 
Follow the afternoon herds and they will go down to the river. Home is on the other side. So she must look for herds of animals. And she was very lucky because they found a herd of zebras going along the dry grass in the hot sun. They're going down to the river to drink some water. And if you look closely, there's Jemina and the baby elephant walking with them. And they walked the whole day and it was very, very hot. As the sun went down in the sky, they finally reached the river. But hidden eyes watched them from the water and Jemina knew it was dangerous. What are those hidden eyes? Those are crocodiles in the water, waiting to bite something that came to drink. This bird, look at his beautiful hairstyle. He's not scared of the crocodiles because he knows he can fly away quickly if they come to him. Now it's starting to become night time. And the little baby was so tired and he didn't want to walk anymore and his feet were hurting. And Jemina said, just a little further, please, baby. But he was too tired. So she sat with him and waited with him. And she was thinking of her mummy. And she was missing her mummy and she was scared. And she knew that they would be worrying about her. And the baby started to cry. So she stroked his nose and she thought, shame, he doesn't have a mummy to call. Listen, she said, I can hear voices. Oh, maybe my mummy and daddy are coming to find... It wasn't her mummy and daddy. It was hunters. And Jemina felt very scared and the baby was very scared. And she thought, oh no, if the baby cries, the hunters will find us. So they kept very, very quiet. And these are the bad hunters who kill elephants to cut off their tusks. And they might have even killed the baby's mummy. Look at that beautiful thorn tree and beautiful sunset. So Jemina and the baby elephant laid down on the ground and they slept and she, held, she hugged him and she said, don't worry. But she was very scared as well because it was getting dark and there were strange animals making noises. Luckily this is just an old tortoise and he couldn't hurt them. He just likes to eat grass and flowers. Jemina was still scared. Would you be scared if you were out in the bush in the dark with no mommy and daddy? You would be very scared. So she was a brave little girl. And she closed her eyes. And maybe she asked God to help her and the baby elephant. And then she fell asleep and she started dreaming about the great big elephants from the old days who had big tusks before all the hunters came and she thought she could hear their noises and the soft noises that elephants make and then when she opened her eyes she saw that there really were lots of elephants around her it was baby elephant's family there's his granny and there's his aunties and there's his little cousins and she said take your baby and look after him and she wasn't scared even though there were these huge big elephants all around her look how little she is next to them and she knew that the elephants would take the baby and look after him she fell asleep and the next morning when she woke up there was her mummy looking for her I was playing hunters and I got lost said Jemina she stayed very close to her mummy all the way home. I'll never be a hunter when I grow up, she said softly to herself as they reached the village. 